Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to beautiful Swedish Lapland. I found myself here for work the last couple of days and the autumn colors are mind blowing for me anyway. I'm not normally from a place that has autumnal colors this strong. But the thing I don't really like about Sweden is the fact that spearfishing is prohibited, but just across the border a few hours in Finland, spearfishing, a-okay. So I think we might go visit my friend. I don't know if you know him. Jose Halibut Seppala. Halibut! I might try that trick from Scotland and clap my hands while I'm driving. See if I can get there a bit faster. We made it. And I picked up a Jose. Oh. Excited, Jose? Yeah. Time for the halibut? Yeah. Big halibut or pike halibut or what they are. <laughs> <laughs> We've arrived at our destination. It's a little chilly. I don't know if you can see all the snow falling, but you gotta do what you gotta do, eh? When in Finland, the biz looks all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But we're going to the beach. Totta kai siellä nyt näin sitä rantaa pitkin. Joo. Noni. Hyvä. Noni. Okei, okay, kiitos oikein paljon. Hyvä. Yes. Moi. Are we in the right place, Jose? Yeah! We've got it. Yeah, that's the right spot, man. And the viz, the viz looks alright, eh? Yeah. I think we will regret that we didn't took the 95 cans. <laughs> we'll Because see. they said the water's pretty clear. It looks And it looks pretty clear. Looks good. I hope we will Time to get the park! Yeah! <laughs> Sweet up man! Shooting up in the snow. Not <laughs> ideal. <sighs> it's not getting warmer. It's not getting warmer. <laughs> I don't suggest you try your finger on the on the oh, spike. It's... That must hurt even more because it's really cold. Yeah. But you know, when I was one in one in competition. Matti Pyke. He was sitting on the rocks on the sea, and you know, he had this thing on the belt. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was like, it went like this, and he shot on the spike. Oh! And he was like, oh! I was like, we were asking, like, Matti, what are you doing in the, in the, Next to what on the rocks, like are you are you making a dump or something? Because you're like this, without pants, and you are like <laughs> water always like putting your like your leg. And he was like, no, 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 I'm not on shooting. Like, what, what are you doing? Oh, I, I had a little mistake. I shot on my fish bike, and oh, look at this, and it was like you know like a big hole in the. <laughs> leg. I was like, oh man, come on, you need something else than just see what are there. <laughs> Finish people, eh? Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> mental. <laughs> All right, let's get down there. It's freezing. My hands are frozen already. Not good, but there's going to be hopefully some dead pike. That's what we're going for, or perch. Pike or perch, or maybe a pike perch. What do you think, Jose? Pretty clear? Yeah, pretty clear and pretty cold. Yeah, it is cold. It's like, oh, yeah, really cold. Yeah. But you can see nice and easy. Oh. The reason we were so excited is because typical Finnish visibility looks like this. These small fish here are called perch, a staple for any Finnish diver. They're found throughout freshwater lakes and some parts of the Baltic Sea. This is exactly what we were looking for, a pike. The conditions and terrain we were finding in the lake were perfect for pike, however October is typically not a great month for spearfishing in Finland. Jose spotted my poor lake hunting form and offered me some advice. When you see the fallen trees, yeah. we have to go like really slowly. Okay. 
We got the bike saw. Uh, they get scared easy. Okay. So just if you see one, you have to approach like really slowly. We eventually found what we were looking for. This massive pile of pine trees had fallen into the lake and were resting at around seven meters. We thought to ourselves, if we're going to find a fish, this will be it. Fish are proving very difficult to find. Haven't seen anything yet. Seven degrees in the water, zero outside. Sleeting, s sort of snow, it's like wet snow. So it's definitely warmer in the water, but yeah, we haven't really found any fish yet. I'm gonna try a bit deeper. Maybe I've gone a bit deeper for the winter. Who knows, but still pretty cool scenery anyway. Despite our best efforts diving to nearly 20 meters on the bottom of this lake, the water was seven degrees, we had torches out, looking inside of holes, we still didn't find any fish. Typically at this time of the year, the fish move to the deeper parts of the lake. This is to avoid a sudden change in temperature, which can be harmful to fish. These lakes will freeze over in the winter. The fish will typically sit in their little holes, congregated there, doing nothing until the lake thaws out. The great challenge at this time of year is to find exactly where those spots are that the fish are congregating. As usual on these work dive trips, I was strapped for time. I had to get back to the airport ASAP. You're hot. Yeah, I'm hot. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you hot? I guess the weather is too warm. Seven degrees. Yeah. Tropical. Be nicer. There's definitely something crazy about our boy Jose. No fish, they all went on holiday. Yeah. But, still good fun anyway. You never know. It's not always about catching fish, because that happens to us a lot. We don't tend to catch too much fish. <laughs> but anyway, still an experience. Beautiful, clean water. Really cool lake. Yeah. We'll be trying to come back in summer for sure. Yeah, that's better. Nice spot. Thank you, Jose. You are welcome. Look at your setup. Yeah, it's nice and warm now, <gasps> and dry. Oh. It's like a Hook Hefner, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> like Hook Hefner. <laughs> I'm frozen. <laughs> Getting out of that wetsuit's not a pleasant experience. I don't know how Norway in spring's gonna go. Oh. A lot more snow. <laughs> I think the weather will be cold, but ah, it's not the problem. Cold is a state of mind. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> so how long till my flight? Three hours. Got, no, no, four hours, four hours. No, three and a half. Gotta get back to the airport, back to England. I sure was glad that this snow didn't come down whilst we were getting out of our wetsuits. Two flights later, just like that, at home again. I'm sorry I didn't shoot any fish in this video, guys, but I was umming and ahhing whether to actually post this video or not, but I thought, you know what? The reality of spearfishing is you don't always get a fish. And for me, the whole point of going spearfishing is to challenge yourself. And if it was easy, I don't think it'd be as enjoyable. So today, freezing conditions, but no fish. Still had an amazing time. Hung out with Jose, got to see some amazing countryside, some new landscapes that I've never ever seen. For me, that's the best part of it. So I'm sorry if you just came here for the dead fish and there was no dead fish. Unsubscribe if you don't like it because there's no dead fish, but I just want to be real and the reality is I don't always get fish. I've got 10 videos sitting on a hard drive that are shot really nice, didn't end successfully with a fish so I just never put them out. But I thought, you know what, 
Finland and Sweden, too cool not to share. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you in the next video. No idea where it will be, but I'll see you there. I have no idea where we parked the car. Whew. Oh, actually, I think it's way up there. Is it up there? What? Is it way up there? Yeah. Is it?